<laughs> Howdy there. Welcome to Beck's Honey Farm. Now I reckon y'all are gonna have yourself a mighty fine time helping out with the hives. Now mind yourself though, there's a family of honey grubbing bears out yonder trying to swipe our sweet treat. In the bears and the bees, your goal is to go out first by playing all the cards in your hand by connecting them to the hive. At the end of the round, players tally points from cards left in their hands, and the player with the fewest points at the end of the third round is crowned the winner as the queen bee. Zbaza! Now to get started, set up the game by placing the queen bee in the center of the table. Get them fingers shuffling and shuffle the deck and deal the cards to each player according to the player count. Oh, now you're getting it. Now reveal cards from the deck until you find a normal honeycomb card and connect it to the top of the queen. Alrighty, let's buzz. Now on your turn, you must play one card from your hand and connect it to the hive. No matter what kind of card you play, it needs to first connect to at least two other cards, and it must match colors on all sides that touch it. Now, honey-colored sides, they're wild, by the way, and match any color. If you're a skilled beekeeper, you can earn a bonus play if your card connects with three or more other cards. A bonus play allows you to play an additional card on your turn. Oh, and if you can continue connecting to three or more cards, you can string together multiple bonus plays. However, if on your turn you can't play a card because you don't have any cards that will work, you must either draw a card from the deck or discard a card from your hand and draw two cards from the deck. Now, let's take a quick second to get familiar with the different types of cards so you know what you're dealing with. No pun intended. First, we got a regular honeycomb card. They have many colors on their six sides. Next, the queen bee. She is the center of the hive and has only wild honey sides. Only honeycomb cards can be played next to the queen. Whew, I'm telling you, she's picky that way. Drones have half honey sides and half sides of a single color. Well, these are useful for trying to get bonus plays. Worker bees have a different color on each side, plus one wild side. In addition, after you play a worker bee, pick one player at the table to draw one card. <laughs> oh, flowers, they are beautiful. But when you play it, all other players must draw one card each. If you go out with a flower or worker, any penalized players must still draw a card before scoring. Finally, oh, if you play a bear, you get to give one card from your hand to another player. But bears are honey hungry and very picky. Plus, let's just be honest, bees don't like building their hive where bears munch on their honey. Bears can only connect to the honey side of a drone or worker bee, plus at least one other card of any color. Once a bear is placed, no new cards can connect to it. The round ends once a player has played their final card. All other players score 5 points per honeycomb, 10 points per drone, worker bee, and flower, and 15 points per bear. Record everyone's scores and set up for a new round with the player who went first in the previous round becoming the new dealer. At the end of the third round, the player with the lowest total score is crowned Queen Bee and has earned their sweet victory. Now, just a few last things that y'all might find helpful. If y'all find someone is taking their sweet old time on their turn, feel free to start buzzing at them to hurry them up. If everyone at the table starts buzzing, <laughs> well, their turn is over. Now to close, we've got some mighty fine extra rules to pack your game full of even more rootin' tootin' fun. Check those out in the back of the instructions if you want to learn them. And with that, y'all come back now. You hear? <laughs>